All right, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Jimdo. I've never used this website builder before. I do believe that they have just the regular website templates and then also an online store. It is free with a Jimdo subdomain. So my job really is just to inspire you guys and just to show you how easy these website builders are to use. So that way you should not be intimidated by them. Although I do know that some folks may still end up intimidated by them. I just want to do a good job and show you how easy it is to really navigate these platforms. So let's go ahead and dive into Jimdo. And on the bottom of this video, there will probably be a link if you want to try this website builder. And then I'll also let you know what I think as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into this website tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up with Google. Okay, fantastic. So then here we are. Um, it looks like you can create a website and you can create a logo. Very cool. <laughs> so I've already got a logo, so I'm just going to do a new website. All right. So create a beautiful website, no coding required or the editor for coding experts. So that's really cool. It gives you the ability to use our uh, template builders that we see over and over again. And then it gives us some ability to do some coding like Duda allows us to do some coding. So I'm going to do the one that a majority of the people will probably choose, which is the one for coding. I'm going to say that this website is for an individual. And I am going to say that this, most of you guys are a new business or personal project, right? Not a project that you might turn into a business. I think most people are, are kind of more in that business stage or you know what if you're here and you're not really sure a project that i might turn into a business okay i think that's where most people are at so let's just say um uh binge work designs okay and let's continue um so yeah i don't see my listing here because you know, we don't have a Google listing, just announce the project is coming, get online bookings. And that's all I really care about for now. You can connect a page to your Instagram or your Facebook if you wanted to. However, I am going to skip this step. And then I am going to do, I'm going to do design. Okay. So we'll just do graphic design. I think that'll, that'll fit. And then I'm going to do kind of this elegant theme over here. Okay. And I'm going to do kind of this maroon and gray. I like those kind of colors together. All right. So appointments, I don't care about. So appointments, um, portfolio and, uh, we'll do an about me page and continue. Okay, and let's take a look here. Very interesting. I will do this one here, okay? Uh-oh, I just skipped this step. All right, so then I'll choose my domain name later. All right, so boom, here we go. All right, so we've got a website template. Now, before we get into this website template, what I wanna do is I want to set up our um, booking services. Okay. So we're going to go to products and categories. We're going to add a product. We're going to, um, you can browse images. So let's go ahead and click on, so that's images from our website, or you can add images later. I am going to grab the website, um, image, and you're going to have to upload your own images. I don't know if they have um, I don't know if they have uh, generic uh, stock images that you can choose from. So this is kind of off-centered a little bit. Let me see. Okay, so this looks like I can move it over a little bit. So you have to click on that, kind of wait till it comes up. All right. And then, so let's explain what's going on here. So you can change this text up here. You don't really want to click on anything like this. Book now. Okay, that's really cool. You can actually probably, i actually see if we can actually... Yeah, so I would set up Calendly, Calendly for this, right? So people can actually, you know, book you that way, okay? Because um, what I, I believe is it probably feeds into the price. So um, let's just take a web design and let's see if I can actually change the price here. 
So it doesn't look like I can change the price. So then you can come down here if you have sizes and dimensions. So this is more like for product details. Um, so this is for a store, right? What we really want is we want appointments, okay? Um, so book now. Okay, so let's go to appointments. Uh, hold on. Okay, so essentially what we would wanna do is we wanna add a Calendly link in here. So actually let's just pull up. Okay, so yeah, I'm obviously spelling this wrong. So let's go ahead and go to Calendly really quickly. And let's go ahead and log in. Give me just a second here. Let's see if I've even got. Okay, fantastic. So let's just say you knew how to set up a meeting and if you don't, then make sure you go to obviously YouTube, look, search on YouTube and search for how to create a Calendly um, meeting, right? So I'm just gonna click on this here and I am going to go to Okay, so I will go back and I will click on this little setting here. Okay, so I'm gonna click on share and I'm going to add this to a website as a embed. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this text here. All right, and then let's see, you know, I don't, I doubt that this will actually allow me to do this. Okay, so it's not gonna allow me to do this, okay? So there's not that functionality. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, um, we're gonna share a link, okay? So we're gonna grab this link right here and then that's what we're gonna use. So for booking appointments, we're gonna go like this right here, change link, URL, oh, wait a second booking service, Calendly. So you, hold on just a moment here. Let's put in that there. Okay, so yeah, that will just go to Calendly. So you can actually change that. Okay, so we've got the booking set up. I thought you might actually have to go and set it up. So what I'm gonna do right now is for this page, we don't need a store page, okay? So I'm going to go back to the website builder and I'm actually going to get rid of the store if I can. Okay. So it doesn't look like I can get rid of this store. However, if I go back to, I'm just going to click on this really quickly. Back to the main menu. Uh, okay. Let's go to website builder. Let's go to pages. Okay. We don't need the store so we can delete this store. Okay. So that's how you delete. All right, so we're, let's go to done. Okay, so we're here on the homepage, okay? So here we are, now we're getting into this. Now that I always set up the back end stuff first so that I don't forget that later on, okay? So we're creatively lives graphic, okay, design, web design, and we'll just say logo design, okay? Um, read more. Okay, so then we can click on a page and then go directly to appointments, okay? Um, or I would say something like uh, book now. Okay, fantastic, so we've got that there. So all you're gonna do essentially is you're gonna click inside of the website builder and you can change anything that you want, okay? Now, um, you can also add a favicon up here. Okay, so you can add a favicon. Okay, but you would actually have to upgrade in order to do that, wonderful. Um, so let's click on this here. You can show text up here. Where'd it go? Okay, you can show a logo up here. With the text, you can show a logo, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of the logo. The primary button for book now, you can actually uh, see that. And I'm actually gonna link that to go back. Um, I'm gonna link that to a page, appointments, okay? And then 
So you have all of these different things and you can even show your social media icons up here if you want to. Okay. And then you can link your Instagram and all that kind of stuff. Right? So then if you wanted to click on this image back here, you can actually change. So if you click on the image, it'll be highlighted. So then you can actually choose a different image, upload a video. You can actually edit it. Uh, you can even zoom in if you wanted to, just to see, you know, a, more of a portion of this. And then you can actually scale to a focal point. Okay. So it's gonna, okay, there we go. So then you can actually choose a different layout entirely than the one that you have, all right? And let's see here. Okay, so you can actually copy this section. In order to delete a section, you would just go down here, press delete, or come up here and press back, okay? All right. So let's continue here and then down here you can duplicate this section or you can move it up or down Okay, so we're gonna move that back up to the top since that's the top of the website. Okay All right, so then back to appointments. We can go ahead and link this already going to appointments You can change this image if you want to and I'm going to actually change this for sure uh, to our website design image or web design image All right, I'm going to move this over a little bit. You can always tell when you see like these little lines that you're actually in the position to be able to move it. Okay, so I'm going to click off of it now. It's going to save right in spot. I'm going to click on this one here and I'm going to change this image. I'm going to change it to, uh, I'm going to change it to this one here. And I got my images from Unsplash. So that's some place that you may want to get your images in the future as well. Okay, so let's just insert this in here. Okay. And then binge work designs, I'll go ahead and from computer, and then we will upload another image down here. Okay, we'll just wait for this to turn blue, then we can go ahead and insert this image. Okay. And then you can link this to your portfolio page, which is already linked to, which is great. Okay. And then you can talk a little bit more about your designs. Okay. And then you have the imprint. I don't know what this is. You have privacy policy and cookie settings, which is, we need that for GDPR and stuff like that. You can look up what GDPR means on your own. So this is the front page of our website. We just edited it. Of course, I would change this information and this information. Again, if I highlight everything, I can make it bold, change the italics. I can actually change how the text shows up, whether I want to left align it, or I want to center align it, or I want to, I'm sorry, left align it, right align it, center align it. Okay. And then I can actually change the style make this a heading, but this is just text. So we're going to keep it as is. Okay. And it's actually already auto saved. So then the next page I'm going to go to is the appointments page. So this page, I might have like an image of you. Okay. There we go. Boom. An image of you right, right here in this particular section. All right. So this is going to go to book now. Okay. It's a very simple page and then we have portfolios. Okay. So then we can do this. Now, one thing with portfolios is I would duplicate as many images as I can that basically showed off my portfolio. Now, unfortunately, uh, you are unable to create, hold on space in between these images, which kind of sucks. So if you wanted to create space in between your images on your portfolio, one thing that I might do is add another block and I would say images just like this here. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Well, so just understand that your, um, I'm going to just go back and go back. Your images are going to be right next to each other, which kind of sucks. But this is where you can put your portfolio, okay, and then save it. And then you can go to the about me section. You can, of course, put an image there of you. Let's actually make it, you know, congruent. Um, all right, just like that. And you can say some stuff about yourself, okay? So then that's essentially it. That's all that you would do. Now, if you wanted to get your own domain name, you could, okay? So um, let's see here. You can go and get your own domain name. Um, but you can also say choose domain name later, which is what I'm going to do now. Oh, good. It brought me to the pricing. Okay. So if you just stay with the basic features, you're going to get that Jim do subdomain. Okay. 
If you want to upgrade, it's going to, if you want to have a domain name included, it's going to be $9 a month. Okay. Um, and it looks like they have ads on your website too. If you just go with this basic subdomain, so don't do that. All right. And then you have search engine optimization, visitor statistics and personal support within four hours. If you go with the grow plan at $15 a month at grow plus business listings is $19 a month. You get, Oh, okay. They give you a free domain if you go there, um, which could be beneficial. Um, and then social media marketing and business listings. Um, typically you would actually have to pay, um, you know, some, another third party to actually get your business listing. So I would just look into that and see how many listings you get, because that can actually, that's a really good, um, um, offer that they have. Right. So let me see how many listings they do. Hold on just a second. Wow. They do hold on business listings. Yeah. But what did that say? How many business listings? Oh, they have to, they have to, they have to say how many business listings because it's a, it's a unique value proposition there in order to add that. Um, but they don't, they don't entail what that looks like. So I would reach out to them and actually figure that out. Um, and then finally we have the unlimited, right? So unlimited storage, professional design analysis and premium support within one hour. So that's just the basic website builder. Like we just built. Okay. If we want to go with the online store. There is no free plan. So you cannot use that most likely because it has payment integration features with I saw Stripe on this one, and I also saw PayPal on this one as well. Um, so $15 starting, you get all basic tools for a small online store, um, and then manage and export orders. That's pretty good. And then with the business plan at $19 a month, you get product variants, social media marketing, and social selling. And then with the VIP package here at $39 a month, you get unlimited storage, professional design review, whatever you know that means. Um, so one thing that I would do here is I would like to Okay, so they don't have an FAQ like that. I'm really, really interested in how many business listings because again, that's huge, huge value, especially if you have a local business and you want to be have a chance at being found in your local market through Google um, and Bing. So I'm going to click off of this here now that we've taken a look at the prices and I'm going to publish the website. That's something that we always want to do. Um, and it's published, so then we'll go ahead and take a look at it live. And here we go. This is now your new website for your designs. Okay. Some things that you might also want to look into is let me actually just go back here. And if I go to pages and I go to system pages, you have the privacy policy. So you may want to add your email. Well, you're going to want to add your email for your business and everything else like that as well. And then it doesn't look like they have a terms page. Okay. But that's something that you would, may want to add as well okay but they have some of the, the the basic stuff that you have in here but um doesn't look like you have any terms okay but i wonder if you created a store if you'd have terms because most websites that are stores um have terms on them as well so there we go most websites that are stored have have terms on them so but other than other than that that's it again if you want to use jimdo this is a pretty simple builder um I don't know if I love it. Um, I don't, I don't dislike it, but I have a preference in building websites. Um, and if I was just beginning this website builder would suffice, but again, I would choose GoDaddy's website builder over this one, or I would choose. Yeah, I would choose GoDaddy's website builder. Wix is pretty good. Dude is pretty good, but I would still choose GoDaddy. Just, I, I love their builder. I love how simple and easy it is to use. Um, if you want to use Jimdo, Jimdo, it is going to be available for you in, below. And, and I'm also going to be doing um, a tutorial of the online store builder. And um, I do apologize if this isn't like literally like step by step. I try to show you everything that you need to know because um, it's, it's very, everything is already built for you. If it was custom and we we're starting from the beginning, then I'd have to go more step by step. But, um, you know, I just really want to show you, you know, what it's like to maneuver on these websites. So I thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.